Hi, this is Hank Hendergraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Instrument broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. I'm continuing my conversation on Hank Unplugged with someone that I hope you get to know through his writings. He is iconic in the Orthodox Christian world. He is the author of The Orthodox Church, an introduction to Eastern Christianity, just one of his many writings. And he is well known throughout the world as an Orthodox theologian, expositor, as a metropolitan that has been used by God throughout his life to clarify those things which are often complex, to take the complex, make it simple and transferable. And so, once again, I want you to hear from his eminence, Metropolitan Callistus, who is a remarkable servant of Christ and um, is going to be talking to us in this clip about the church, the church which is not meant to be an extravaganza, but a life, the sphere within which union of persons with God is accomplished. Christianity knows nothing about Lone Ranger Christians. It is about a community of faith. And as you were explicating the fact that you had, as it were, a mystical experience in a Russian Orthodox church, where you experienced the fellowship of saints, those on earth and those who are beyond the earth. The saints, the mother of God. You experienced Jesus Christ himself. So you you experienced the community of saints. And that can only happen within the context of the church, which St. Paul talks about as the ground and pillar of truth. Can you speak to what's happening in so much of Christianity where it's becoming individualized as opposed to the recognition that we are the community of saints? I am very much in sympathy with what you are saying. First of all, I know that in the prayer that Christ gave us, that is the model of all praying, our Father, we do not say I or me or mine. We say us, our, and we. We speak in the plural. We speak as members of a community. And that, I find, is vitally important. To be a Christian does involve personal experience, but not isolated experience. It is to belong to the community of the faith. So, yes, indeed, that I see as vitally significant. Not I, but we. St. Cyprian of Carthage said that you cannot have God as your father without having the church as your mother. And the fathers talked about the church being the center of the universe, the sphere within which union with God takes place in the present life, the union which will be consummated in the life that is to come after the resurrection of the dead. It's oftentimes referred to as the reincarnation of Eden where we can have intimacy with the love of our soul. Can you expound further on the significance of church? Because so many people are feeling as though they can interact with God solely apart from the church. I accept that there are people who do not belong to any church community, but who do have a living faith. But I am bound to say that I find that incomplete. We do not come to our Savior Christ alone, isolated, but we come as brothers and sisters, sharing together in the experience of faith. That, to me, is fundamental. 
And this sharing in the faith is expressed through outward actions. Christianity is not just a theory. It is a way of life. And in that way of life, we have certain actions which we call sacraments. And above all, there are the two sacraments of holy baptism, which happens only once, but holy communion, the sharing in the body and blood of Christ at the Eucharist. And right about that time, we ran into some technical difficulties, but as His Eminence was saying, There are sacraments or graces that we can experience within the context of the church. It is within the church that divine life flows into us. It's within the church that divine life penetrates the fabric of our humanity. The future life is infused into the present one, and is blended with it so that our fallen humanity may be transformed into the glorified humanity of the new Adam, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember Ignatius. They christened the Eucharist as our medicine of immortality. They called it the antidote against death, enabling us to live forever in Jesus Christ. Again, it is in the church that we receive the graces that transform us. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Hank Unplugged.